Ah, the life of a combat medic. Long hours, grueling work. Patients bleeding all over your nice clothes. I'm not complaining. Nothing beats the look of gratitude from someone whose life you just saved. But it gets distracting when beautiful patients fall in love with you. I mean, lots of ethical dilemmas, you know? It's natural for attraction to develop under life and death circumstances. It's wrong to act on those feelings. Not if it helps the patient recover. Sometimes you just have to go that extra step. I figure Jedi have the same problem. You must have admirers lined up from one end of the galaxy to the other. I haven't had anyone throwing themselves at me. Remember, it's quality, not quantity. Unless you have a lot. Just imagine how popular we'll be after we knock the Sith Empire into a black hole. If I were you, I'd get some extra sleep now. Channel Indigo 7. I'm receiving your transmission. It's good to see you, but I'm afraid I don't have pleasant news. The war is not going well for Republic forces. We've sustained heavy losses on multiple fronts. The Empire is too well equipped. And unless we take immediate action, they could gain a decisive advantage that will overwhelm us. From what I've seen, the Republic is kicking the Empire's backside. What happened? This war spans dozens of systems. For every one where the Republic emerges victorious, there are three where we don't. But there is hope. The Colocords are an insectoid species who remain neutral in the war. They're weapon merchants, selling to both sides. They've developed devastating new weapon designs. The Republic must secure the Colocords' technology to survive the Empire's onslaught. I fought some of these beasts on Valmora. They didn't know the business end of a hydro spanner, much less how to design advanced weapons. The Colocords on Valmora are genetically engineered drones. True Colocords are highly intelligent beings, and far more dangerous. The Colocords have issued a challenge to both Republic and Empire. We are invited to a contest of military might. The winner receives an exclusive contract to purchase the Colocords weapons. The loser gets nothing. The Empire has already accepted and sent forces. Why would the Republic participate in the Colocords sick game? We sought a more peaceful negotiation, but the Empire's agreement to their terms forced our hand. A small strike team must enter a remote asteroid base on the Outer Rim. The Colocords will test our battle-worthiness there. I find the entire scenario barbaric and wasteful. But we cannot allow the Empire to acquire the Colocoid weapons unopposed. If I've learned anything from this war, it's that the enemy won't rest until we're all dead. I'll fight this battle, Master. Again and again, I ask too much of you. And yet you never fail. Be aware. The Colocoids will participate in their own contest. Killing you elevates their individual clans. They won't exercise restraint. Your shuttle is waiting nearby. Hurry. May the Force be with you. Competition is over, Master Satil. We won. Your safe return is cause enough for celebration, but preventing the Empire from gaining new weapons is a significant victory. The Colocoids have already begun shipping technology to our forces. You've bought us some much needed breathing room. Anytime, Master Satil. You can always count on me and my allies. You've proven that on more occasions than I can count. This unfortunate business is behind us, but the war goes on. As do your personal missions. Do what you can to hold the line out there. Give our people time to regroup. May the Force be with us.
back, friend. We've made astounding progress thanks to you. Analysis of the Hoth data has laid bare the entire defense grid of the Emperor's fortress. There are weaknesses we can exploit. Even better, we understand how the cloaking device protects the fortress. We've just jury-rigged a scanner that sees through it. At last, the Emperor is within our reach. This is the beginning of the end for the Sith Empire. We'll be the dawn that breaks the night. Our vessels are being prepped for the journey to Dromund Kaas. Long-range scanners will receive upgrades to detect the Emperor's fortress. We'll pilot our individual starships to land in different docking bays. Multiple targets will divide the enemy's defenses. Once we're inside the fortress, we'll each follow an assigned path through the security grid. We'll converge on the Emperor's throne room. We'll capture the Sith leader, bring him to Typhon, and redeem him to the light side of the Force. A perfect victory. Capturing the Emperor will be hard enough. Turning him into an ally? Is it even possible? I convinced a member of the Dark Council. The Emperor will be no different. He's just another Sith. Defeating the Sith through violence accomplishes nothing. We must embrace them as our own. It is the key to a lasting peace that will save countless lives. Master Braga, we must speak before this plan goes any further. There are those among us who have raised... concerns. I thought you supported this plan, Master Satil. I do, but I don't speak for all Jedi. I must ensure their voices are heard. I've always considered your plan reckless, Master Braga. Now your former team member comes to me with a disturbing vision you chose to ignore. Jomar, we discussed this. You should be in the Kulto Baths. You still haven't recovered from your attack on Tatooine. It was during those healing meditations that I saw a vision of this Jedi. He was falling to the dark side, becoming a Sith. Nothing in this galaxy could make me join our enemies. You will fall, and others with you. I saw it. The future is forever in motion. Events that appear certain today are impossible tomorrow. Must I remind the Council that the Jedi do not pass judgments based solely on visions? If you take him on this mission, it will fail. I should go instead. You're angry over being left behind. You want to replace me. I want to save this galaxy! We all do. But that hope must never descend into passion. I fear that yours has. I've known this Jedi since he was Master Orgus's Padawan. He has saved lives across the galaxy. I do not doubt his loyalty. Jomar, Master Caden, I appreciate your concerns, but I do not share them. I see no reason to delay Master Braga's mission. Thank you, Master Satil. And you, Master Kuix. No thanks are needed. With the Force as guide, I simply follow my conscience. Nothing more. No, this is wrong! I know what I saw! Master Braga, I demand you reconsider. There's too much at stake here. The time for debates is over. The hour of our victory approaches. My friends, we depart for the Emperor's Fortress at once. We'll coordinate our assault once we're all inside. May the Force be with us. Docked inside the Emperor's fortress. No sign of opposition. I'm in as well. Perhaps we caught the Emperor napping. I took some cannon fire getting in, but my shields held up. The Medes detect enemy forces converging on my hangar. <sighs> Looks like I drew the short straw. Everyone disembark. Follow your routes to the objective. No surrender, no retreat. Are you saying we're on a suicide mission? We cannot afford to fail. We'll never get another chance. I'll see you in the throne room. May the Force protect us all. Master Bugger, out. I can feel him. He's waiting. He'd be laughing if he still knew how. Who's laughing? I don't hear anything. The Emperor isn't afraid. 
He's just quiet, still. All he feels is cold rage. Anger is born from fear. The Emperor knows his time is up. We'll be all right. The Emperor is the strongest Sith alive. Stronger than any of us. We shouldn't have come. This is a trap. The Emperor has no power over us if we stick together. Face your fear. I won't let him take me. Never again. <laughs> violate the Emperor's Sanctum. There is only one punishment. The Emperor's Wrath. You left empty-handed on Quesh. Prepare for another disappointment. Your friends did not survive. You fight alone. Not alone. The Force is with us. By my master's command, you must die. You are the Jedi's finest. It is not enough to save you. I'm here for your master. If you want to live, leave him to me. You haven't earned an audience with him. Be careful what you wish for. Surrender, Sith. You and your master cannot stand against all of us. Thank the Force. He told me you were all dead. Have faith, my friend. The Force is a powerful ally. The Emperor's reign ends today. Misdirected passion. Such a waste. My friends and I wish to speak with you. Please accompany us to Tython. An infantile display, Tol Braga. Reckless pride, limbed by self-righteousness. You are master of nothing. I don't remember introducing ourselves. You have no secrets from me. You stand there because I allow it. Because I do not fear. Free yourself. You're stronger than his influence. Fight. 
Master Orgus? What happened? The Emperor clouded your mind in darkness. Made you do terrible things. You've been the Emperor's pawn a long time. But you're finally free. The Emperor overpowered us. Master Braga, the others. We all fell. After that, nothing. You were not yourself. What you did in the time of darkness is not your fault. You're still aboard the Emperor's fortress. The enemy is everywhere, but they think you serve them. Keep your true nature secret. Find a way out. Your dark ally will help. I have a friend here. Can't wait to meet him. The Force is with you again. Be strong. Stop muttering to yourself, Acolyte. Today we test your ability to extract information from the enemy. Knowledge is power. Our enemies possess the secrets to their own annihilation. We must learn everything. I'm ready for my lesson. Please instruct me. One of the scum you arrived with awaits interrogation. You'll conduct it while I watch. Which particular bit of scum are you referring to? I came here with several. The Jedi girl. I understand she used to be one of us. Follow me. I'll instruct you in using the Tormentor device. I look forward to it. After you. Let's begin. It's a simple device. Three inducement settings, each inflicting greater pain on the subject. The Tormentor monitors the subject's vital signs, stopping just short of delivering lethal damage. Still quite agonizing, however. I know you're still in there. You're not one of them. If I beat him, you can too. Proceed with the lowest inducement setting. Get your subject focused. Bad news, Overseer. I don't work for the Emperor anymore. And neither do you. You're free. Are you all right? I am now. I knew you'd come back. This place is crawling with Sith who don't know you're back to normal, but you won't fool them forever. We need to leave. Quick. T7 and the others are still in the docking bay, locked in cages. We can free everyone and take back the ship. We aren't leaving until I kill every Sith on the station, especially the Emperor. Are you crazy? We barely survived the last fight. We need to get out of here. Step away from my ship. We're leaving. If I wished to fight, I would not have freed your crew or killed these guards. More guards will come. Shall we go before they arrive? Free Master Tol Braga and my fellow Jedi, and I'll consider it. If they were here, I'd have liberated them as well. I could have killed you on Quesh had I wanted. Did you never wonder why I hesitated? I have waited over 300 years to see the face that came to me in a vision. Your face. You could have told me this on Quesh or in your master's fortress. I needed to be sure the time had come. Now I know. Only a few beings have ever broken the Emperor's domination. You and that girl are special. She only broke the Emperor's will with my help. I freed myself. Regardless, my former master no longer holds any power over your minds. Though the Emperor seeks to conceal his true plans, I have seen them. That vision has driven me to this. I pledge my loyalty to you. Take me to your Jedi Council on Tython, and I'll reveal why. We're not actually considering this. I mean, he's obviously full of awful. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm with Doc. This is a trap. I seek to save this galaxy from annihilation. Without my help, your ship will never escape. I can guide you to freedom. If I'm taking you to the Jedi homeworld, you'll be under guard at all times. Don't try anything. 
your flattery is pointless. I do not seek your people's deaths, only their cooperation. Security won't be an issue. He twitches wrong, he's dead. Time is a luxury we no longer possess. We must go now. I will navigate us through the defense grid. You can get along without me for a bit, right? Need to pop over to Alderaan. Old friend of mine there got kidnapped by gangsters. They'll kill her if I don't deliver the spice they paid me for. This comes as no surprise. I've had you pegged as a degenerate lowlife ever since Belmora. Lowlife? Uh, old Doc's many things, but never that. A couple of years back, I scammed this gang for a bulk load of credits. Spent everything to set up a refugee hospital on Alderaan. My friend is the head doctor there. Uh, I guess the gangsters finally figured out where all the money went. What made you think stealing from gangsters was a good plan? They're not the first gang that contributed to my favorite charity. It's like taking candy from a baby. I'm going undercover for Republic Customs. Once I deliver the spice and free my friend, the good guys swoop in. Gangsters go to prison and my friend gets your hospital back. Whole plan's foolproof. Won't take any time at all. You have a responsibility to this crew. You're not allowed to come and go whenever you like. Relax, I'll be back before you know it. It's been so long. We thought you were lost forever. The mission to seize the Emperor has failed. He's more powerful than we realized. Master Braga, Liha Nerez, and Warren Sidoru are still missing. The Emperor's wrath helped us escape. He betrayed his master to join our side. Sith serve no one but themselves. I altered my loyalties to avert a threat to myself and you. Jedi are not alone in seeing the future. Centuries ago, I had a vision of the Emperor destroying the galaxy. Republic, Empire, everything gone. This Jedi has the power to stop him. Extinguishing all life in every star system? No one could do that. He wields power no Jedi or Sith has dreamed of. The renewed war is merely a diversion to conceal the Emperor's designs. His true plans are already in motion across the galaxy. One by one, every star system will simply die. Trillions will perish. How does that benefit the Emperor? He'll feed on those deaths to become more powerful than all the Jedi and Sith combined. An immortal being of unlimited power. Once everyone's dead, who will he rule over? Domination holds no appeal to him. Only power. And this is not the sole galaxy in the universe. A thousand years ago, the Emperor tricked an entire Sith world into aiding a dark ritual. He promised great power. Only for himself, of course. The ritual consumed every living thing on the planet. He absorbed those life essences through the Force. He didn't kill all you people. Where did your empire come from? The true Sith occupied many worlds at the galaxy's edge. Losing one planet was hardly crippling. The Emperor has manipulated events for centuries towards one goal. Performing an even greater ritual that will destroy this galaxy. But the ritual requires a great sacrifice to begin. Billions of simultaneous deaths. He seeks to commit genocide on Belsavis. That prison world holds the worst filth captured by the Republic. Mass murderers, tyrants, even captured Sith Lords. We've kept the planet's location secret for decades, if the Emperor has found it. Once the sacrifice occurs, the Emperor's ritual cannot be stopped. We must save Belsavis. We? Your role in this is over, Sith. He served his purpose. If we need more information, it'll be easy to get from a prison cell. Leave me here, and your mission will fail. I know the Emperor's ways. Belsavis is not the only world in danger. We must find the others, and I cannot help you from a prison cell. Like it or not, we need each other. He's right. I can feel the truth. Without his help, we are all dead. 
Council will concentrate on locating other worlds at risk, and finding our missing friends. I'm counting on you to stop the Emperor's plans. We need all the help we can get. There's room on my ship for you. The Order needs leadership. This war is stretching us to the limit. Contact me when you reach Belsavis. And don't rely too closely on your ally. I'm disrupting the fabled Jedi calm. I suggest we depart. <laughs>